Hello everyone, I'm KC. In this video, we are going to talk about if the lower the HCA score a diamond have, is it the better? So what I have over here are the GIE certificate of two diamonds. Diamond A on the left and Diamond B on the right. Diamond A is a 0.85 carat EVS1 where its cut, polish and symmetry are all excellent. And uh, Diamond B on the right is a 0.86 carat EVS1. And it's also a uh, triple excellent diamond. Essentially, both of these diamonds are pretty much identical with almost the same carat weight, color, clarity, and both are triple excellent. Now let's have a look at their proportions. And from their proportions, we are able to calculate their HCA score. From here, we can see that Diamond A has a HCA score of 1.4, while Diamond B has a HCA score of 1.0. So as you guys know, the HCA score goes from 0.4 to 10, where the lower the score, the better it is. Now going by this logic, and if you're thinking of choosing between these two diamonds, you would probably choose Diamond B. I mean that's like a no-brainer because both diamonds have the same exact uh, grades but Diamond B seems to have a better proportions with a lower HCA score. Now let's have an actual look at these two diamonds. Hang on, what's going on here? Why do these two diamonds look so different? Diamond A has the 8 distinct black arrows and is optically very symmetrical whereas Diamond B on the right looks very messy and you can't see the arrows clearly at all. You can easily tell that Diamond A is a much much more brilliant stone. So what's happening here? Isn't Diamond B supposed to be a better cut with its lower HCA score? Okay, let's bring out their scopes. The AZ scope of Diamond A shows a super ideal cut. It has very symmetrical blue arrows which gives the diamond a beautiful contrast. Now Diamond B on the right has very unsymmetrical arrows. In fact, even some of its arrows are missing or not fully formed. This causes the diamond to have a lack in contrast resulting in poorer brilliance. So imagine if you've chosen Diamond B just because of its lower HCA score. Now why this is happening is because the HCA is only a prediction tool. It attempts to predict the light performance of a diamond by using a formula. Is it useful? Yes. It's a great tool to eliminate poor light performing diamonds with bad proportions. But is it accurate? No. After all, it's only a prediction tool and it has several limitations. For example, uh, it only takes into account 17 out of a diamond's 57 facets. It totally ignores the minor facets. Uh, also, it assumes that the diamond is optically symmetrical, uh, where in this case, it's not. And it also ignores extremities in the angles, allowing diamonds with extreme angles to achieve a low HCA score. So you shouldn't use the HCA tool to make a decision on your diamond, but a tool to weed out the bad ones. Here are the diamonds under LED lights. This is to see their fire and scintillation. Now it's very very obvious who is the winner here. Diamond A is clearly showing a greater dispersion of light where you can see those crisp and chunky colorful rainbow flashes all over. The blue, the green, the orange, the many colorful sparkles gives the diamond a superb light performance, making it very eye-catching. All of our super ideal cuts are handpicked with many stringent criteria to achieve this kind of effect. You'll never know how fiery a diamond can be until you've seen our super ideal cuts. Now diamond B on the right have a lackluster performance with hardly any sparkles or colorful flashes. And this is the diamond with a supposedly lower HCA score. Now here are the diamonds under a controlled spotlight environment. What's happening here is light is entering the diamonds at various angles to show you the different variations of how each angle of the diamond is reflecting the light back out. Remember the blue areas on the ASAT scope? These are contrasts in the diamond. 
These areas will appear black under fluorescent light, giving it the 8 distinct black arrows. Now, under spotlight or sunlight, these contrast areas lights up and become fiery. In Diamond A, you can see all 8 of these arrows lighting up, looking very crisp and clear. This is what makes the diamond look shocking and fiery. Now if you compare it to the diamond on the right, it doesn't have these 8 arrows lighting up. Because of its poorer light performance and in symmetry, it creates a very messy and unfocused look with very little fire going on. The light performance between these two diamonds are like day and night. But on the GIA certificate, they are exactly the same. Furthermore, Diamond B has a better HCA score. So this is where the HCA score can be very misleading. You should never choose a diamond based on its HCA score alone. It is a useful tool to reject out poorly cut diamonds, but you shouldn't rely on it completely. The HCA score is just one of our many steps that we use to select our super ideal cuts. There are no shortcuts to this. Each of our super ideal cut is guaranteed to have a maximum light performance that shines like no other. So there you go guys. A lower HD score does not necessarily mean the better. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and thank you.